Hey YouTubers, I'm back with a new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix error negative 1 for any device. This commonly happens if you have your baseband, your like your iPhone baseband updated up to the iPad baseband or some sort of thing like that. So we're going to basically need snow grease and that's it. And we're going to download this for free from I hate snow.com. I'll leave the link in the description. But if you want to write it, just search it in Google it will appear. And what we're gonna download is Snowbreeze V2.9 for uh, point 14. And which is like you go down the the home page, you go down the home page and downloads, and there it will appear as Snowbreeze V2.9.14. So we're gonna press on this and it will automatically start to download as you can see here I already downloaded it and that's why I'm not going to download it right now so once you have it you have to extract it and open it and this window will pop up so you're going to just press on OK commercial user yeah or whatever you press on OK and you press on this blue little arrow and you're going to uh, press on download iOS firmware you're going to select your device which is in my case the iPhone 4 GSM and the, you're gonna select the latest iOS version this is very important because if not it's not gonna work okay latest iOS version so you're gonna press on 6.1.3 and you're gonna start the download I already downloaded this so I'm not gonna do it and well once the download has finished it will appear as as this one second please um, it will appear like this it will say IPSW selection and a small pop-up will appear here and it'll say would you like to use this IPWS which has been saved on your desktop in Snowbreeze and you're gonna press on yes and then you press on this blue arrow and then you have these modes like we're going to use simple mode but if you don't want to jailbreak your device you're going to press on baseband preservation mode so we go into simple mode do you want to activate your phone this is typically good for people who have an official carry yeah we're going to press on yes and we're just going to let it work so once the process has finished it will appear Snowbreeze seems to have successfully created your IPWS, IPSW, sorry. And you're just going to press on OK below. And you're going to put your device into DFU mode. So you're just going to simply follow these instructions. Press and start and it, it will show you how to put it into DFU mode. Remember your device has to be plugged into the computer to enter DFU mode. So you're just going to press and start and you basically press the two buttons for 10 seconds like the sleep and the home button for 10 seconds and then you release the sleep button and you just let on you keep holding the home button for 30 seconds until your computer does like a boom boom and detects your device so once you have finished with this you're just going to close Snowbreeze and probably your iTunes will open and say um, there's a device in DFU mode it needs to be restored or something like that so you're just going to press on shift and restore let's see well you're just going to press on shift and restore and you're going to select the IPWS that you just have done, which is probably saved onto your desktop here. Let's see. Snowbreeze. It's this thing. You see? So you're just going to go into iTunes and connect your device. And let's say here it says restore. So you're going to press on shift and press on it. And then it's going to pop up a... 
a small box and you're going to search for your IPW IPSW which is on the desktop and you're going to press on restore OK and basically that's it. So thanks for watching please like my Facebook page my new Facebook page if this worked and subscribe please too if this worked and like so thanks I'll see you in my next tutorial if you need any tutorial done any help on IT or um, iPhones or Android please feel free to ask for a tutorial just by going to my blog which is in the description I think yeah it's in the description so you can go into my blog and there you can ask for any tutorial to be done and remember please to like my Facebook page and subscribe so thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial bye